So this might be a first for you or this might be something you're really familiar with, but have you ever heard the term sunglasses for your camera lens? But today in particular, we're gonna be talking about the KNF Concept 77 millimeter Nano X variable ND filter. Now that was a little bit of a mouthful and one thing I can tell you is from the packaging alone, this looks a little bit better than what I currently have. So in today's video, we're gonna be busting this guy out, showing you what comes in the box and giving you some of the results and seeing how skin tones look, how it performs outside. Let's jump right into the Nano X KNF 77 millimeter variable ND filter. So let's see it for the first time. Let's see what it comes with here. KNF Concepts, it's a nice little and we've also got some microfiber cleaning cloths, three to be exact, which is a nice little bonus. And then the filter itself. Ooh, all right. We've got some nice notches. Now we don't have hard stops, not a problem for me, but at least, at least we have our little dots. So we have a sense we're at ND32, which is gonna be full go. So at this point, we've talked enough about the filter itself. It only makes sense to actually kind of put it out to the test. And the best test would be going outside. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm on a golf course, and currently we are using the variable ND from KNF. Now, I wanna say we are shooting ISO 640 at an F4. We're outdoors, so you can probably see in the background, there's a good chance that the sky is going to be our biggest kind of uphill battle. And to deal with it, we're using that variable ND. And I wanna say, I'll just give you guys a sense of like, we'll go all the way down to ND2. As I mentioned, ISO 640 outdoors. And then the biggest advantage here is all I need to do is just slightly turn it down. And then we're back to having colors and exposure that are gonna be very usable for many of you guys out there. Oh, we kept it right. Damn, too right. I should have known that was gonna happen, but see how that was. Now, variable NDs are definitely gonna come in handy in regards to shooting outdoors, shooting in high light situations. So situations where you just are kind of, kind of bombarded by light. And I find, I know that a lot of people, they might use a map box, but because I'm kind of like a run and gun shooter, need to be able to be very quick in regards to like what I'm doing on the fly, is where a variable ND like this comes in handy. I would say on a day like today, when I'm trying to use native ISO, which on the Lumex S52X is going to be at ISO 640, this is where variable ND is going to be really needed because for me to get the best kind of quality video in regards to like codec and what the camera wants, that ND being able to adjust is going to be huge. And there you go. Now we're gonna crank it all the way down so you guys can see what it's like. And from what I can see on the monitor or my little flip out screen, yeah, it's pretty dark, but then we'll go back to two. We'll show you guys what it kind of looks like without the variable ND. So for anyone that's kind of wondering, we just had that variable ND on there. And like I said, we're shooting at ISO 640. F4, we're at plus three stops, which is obviously overexposed, but then if we're gonna put our variable ND back on there, we should be back in business. So at least it gives us some color to work with. All right, don't expect good golf from me by any means. So for some reason, I just felt like the golf scene was just not enough to give a full example in regards to what ND can do, specifically variable ND when you're putting it on your camera and you're outside. So of course, we're back outside, pretty sunny. I wanna say it's about almost four o'clock. You guys are getting a different perspective this time where you can actually see the ND, plus we've got that simultaneous video. And I'm gonna crank that ND all the way down. So we're at ND2. And then we're gonna go all the way down to ND32 here so that you guys can get an example. There we are all the way down. And we're gonna bring it back up and see where the camera is saying we're good to go. I'd say probably about there. Now, similar to when we were on that golf course, shooting ISO 640, we're shooting uh, vlog footage. And then I wanna say our Kelvin's at like 5,500. 
Now, one thing that I guess the whole concept of this video is ND really being an absolute must when it comes to filming outdoors. Now, specifically for those that don't have ND built into your camera, variable ND is going to come in handy. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, in the past, I had been using ND that I was happy with, but it wasn't a variable ND. So imagine each time I needed to make an adjustment, I was having to take another ND filter, screw it on or screw it off. Whereas here, we can just crank it down and it's definitely gotten a lot sunnier out here. So, or at least where I'm standing. So we're able to just quickly do that. And that is super handy, whether you're filming weddings, whether you're filming outdoor content. Hey, even if you're filming indoors, ND can come in handy quite a bit. Now I'm cranking that down a little bit, but I will say the point to this video is whether it's the KNF concept, whether it's a different model, one, I will say with this particular ND filter, I found that the skin tones were not changed from what I can tell in regards to editing in the past. Other ND filters did give a little bit of a green tint. I haven't really seen this in this one, but I just wanna advise that any of you guys out there that are looking to get the best quality footage where you're not kinda of jacking up your shutter speed or having to lower your aperture or let's say crank it up to kinda of give yourself a fighting chance outdoors, slap on that variable ND, give yourself a fighting chance, get better footage, get better results, which inevitably will get you more business. But hey guys, Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.